Last night's thunder continued into this morning, but in a very different way. Thanks for joining us for the Sunday News at 10. I'm Carolyn Holly filling in tonight. If you were in Boise, I'm sure you heard the military planes overhead for the Gowan Thunder Air Show. It was expected to draw 150,000 plus people over the weekend. And News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spent the morning out on the airstrip. You actually got there, Jude? I did, and Carolyn, it was a blast. There was this uh, joint arms demonstration that felt like it was right out of a movie. Now, the Gowan Thunder Air Show is put on by the Idaho National Guard, and 80% of those who serve in the National Guard are part-time, so they live and work in the community. So this show was a way for the Guard to show their uh, appreciation for the community support. The skies were clear over Boise Sunday, but thunder was still rolling over Gowan Field. Gowan Thunder is Idaho's largest military air show. 150,000 plus fans were expected to attend Saturday and Sunday, but the show looked a little different for one local aviator. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I, I, actually, I feel like I fly in front of the city all the time anyway, but you know, this time they're actually looking at me. Mark Peterson is a Boise native who flew three different planes during the air show, a P-51 Mustang, A-37 Dragonfly, and an Alpha Jet. Now watch Mark, take the jet vertical. Mark got his love of flying from his dad, a bomber pilot trained in Boise who flew combat missions during World War II. 1944, he was shot down over uh, northern Germany and was able to get the airplane across the water and put it down in Sweden. So he spent the rest of the war in Sweden. While he was there, they called him a POW, but he stayed in hotels. He ended up meeting my mother, who was a local Swedish girl there. After the war, they returned to Boise and had Mark who's pretty much been flying ever since. And my dad had me flying when I was six years old, and I started flying airplanes long before I started driving cars, so it's second nature to me. I feel more comfortable in the air than on the ground. The Idaho National Guard puts on Gowan Thunder. During the air show, the Idaho Army National Guard and Idaho Air National Guard teamed up for a combined arms demonstration, showing off what each branch can do. Also, some top fun with special appearances from Maverick and Iceman. The air show also had a performance from the U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team. We jumped from a 6,000 feet, and what we wanted to show was a different array of maneuvers and different um, kind of capabilities that we could do in one pass. Sergeant First Class Rafael Torres says the performance is a way to represent the Army and its different capabilities. He did a maneuver with a 1,200 square foot U.S. Army drop flag. During air shows like this, uh, the crowds usually go pretty crazy. They get pretty, pretty happy, pretty, pretty excited. Uh, honestly, that's one of the things that drives us to work harder to perform for the crowd. The show was an opportunity for pilots and service members to demonstrate their abilities and to thank the community for the support they give to the Idaho National Guard. It's really great for a pilot because, as you expect, the rules around flight, particularly around an airport, are very strict. There are only certain things we can do in order to be safe. To be turned loose and be able to do aerobatics and attack the airfield and do everything else and have the FAA looking at us and going, great job. It's really a lot of fun. It's just a blast. And this is the second time the Idaho National Guard has hosted the Gallon Thunder Air Show. The last time was in 2017. And organizers say they hope it will be a thing moving forward and continue to be a way for the Idaho Guard to tell their story and share what they do with community performances. Oh, I hope it. I hope they continue to keep coming back. I think we're all in awe of what we saw this weekend. Thank you so much, Jude.